the number one Dallas Cowboy of all time, Tom Landry. It has to be Tom Landry. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you can go wrong with Coach Landry. When you announce it, every Cowboy fan goes, yeah, all right. You know, geez, yeah, you know, why didn't I think of that? The nuts and bolts of the Dallas Cowboys is uh, <clears throat> a man that wears a funny hat. You thought Dallas Cowboys from 1960 to 1989, you thought Tom Landry. After nearly a quarter of a century, Tom Landry is still the only head coach the Dallas Cowboys have ever had. The silhouette shot of him on the sideline, that was the Cowboys' identity. I don't think there's anything about Coach Landry that you didn't look at him and say, this is the Dallas Cowboys. I'd say, without question, he'd be number one. The generation that came after Vince Lombardi, Tom Landry is the coaching icon. Go hard, go hard, that way, go hard. He was his own offensive coordinator and his own defensive coordinator. Okay, that's pretty strong. No, yeah, you can use him pretty much in here. Yeah, you can use him. He was an innovator. Great football man. The man who wore this funny hat fashioned some of the NFL's greatest thrills. The offensive linemen all stood straight up and then went down into the three-point stance. They had the shotgun. They had all of these innovations. The lineman's breaking outside. See, there's no use to send him out. Yeah. Just tell him to slow box, see? So while all of this blitz was going on around Tom Landry, he was the quiet man in the fedora, the mastermind of the cowboy experience. For 29 years as Dallas's head coach, Tom Landry transformed the Cowboys into America's team. But Coach Landry is the architect uh, of the entire organization, and the Dallas Cowboy organization isn't what it is today without Coach Landry there from the start. My feelings about him are almost heresy. I think if you're going to compare Cowboy coaches, Jimmy is every bit as much the coach as Landry was. How about you, Cowboys? There's a guy in our recent memory who was only the second head coach of the Cowboys. That kind of tells you the story about Tom Landry, so I have no problem with him being number one. He had a lot more personality than people gave him credit for. I always feel at home on the football field, but to feel at home on the range, I just carry this, the American Express card. But he still was the guy who said nothing funny ever happened on the football field. They asked Walt Garrison, have you ever seen Coach Landry uh, smile? And he said, no, but I was only there nine years. No one has penetrated the gunfighter stare, the grim face that makes him look like a regional director of the FBI. The expressionless guy walking the sideline, that was game day Coach Landry. Uh, I'm not uh, a rah-rah type of coach, uh, especially on the sidelines. Coach Landry felt like preparation was the greatest motivator. And it'll be Strategy, practice, an planning, and overture to Sunday Symphony. Coach Landry ran our team like a, a corporation. We had goals, we had methods to obtain the goals. We had critical points to obtain the methods that attained the goals. The goal was to win the Super Bowl. You can't argue with the numbers of our number one cowboy. A professional sports record of 20 consecutive winning seasons. Fires a deep for Goldie Richards. Goldie! The Cowboys won. And the Cowboys had one winning season after another, after another, after another. And Tom Landry was the rock. That is pretty nice. Congratulations. Ten times his Cowboys played in the NFC Championship game, five trips to the Super Bowl, and two World Championships. And the Cowboy coach Tom Landry getting a ride off on the shoulders of his team, the Dallas Cowboys are the champions of the National Football League. I still think Roger Staubach should be number one, but when you throw out a name like Tom Landry as the Dallas Cowboys, it's really hard to argue.